A common exam question is to be given a standard algorithm and be able to understand it to record the outputs of that code. So here on the left hand side is a simple piece of pseudocode and we are going to go through this line by line to understand what the outputs of this program would be. So. I have got a red arrow to show you which line I'm looking at. Obviously, we'll start from the first line and go down. We're going to record the value of each variable as we go along, as well as the outputs. It's important that you record the variable values to help you with the outputs. So the first line is A is integer. That tells us we have a variable called A and that the data type of that is a integer, which is a whole number. So I'm going to record here that we have a, at the moment, I don't know the value of a. All I know is that it is a variable, which is a whole number. The next line is b is integer. So now I've got b. Again, I don't know the value of it yet. And then the next line, i is integer. So I have a third variable called i, but I do not know the data type yet. Now we're going into the main body of the program. a is equal to 8. So I'm going to just cross out the question mark and just have an 8. Now we're entering a for loop, for i equals one, two, four. So I'm going to repeat the indented code, the two lines which are indented, four times. And this is telling me that i is going to start at one until it gets to four. So I can now update my i to be one. The next line, b equals a multiplied by i. So I'll look at a, which is eight, and i, which is one. Eight times one is eight, so b is equal to 8. My next line is output b. So I'm going to just output 8. It doesn't say to output b is 8 or anything else, it just says output b. So I'm just going to output the value. Next i, so I'm going to increase the i to the next number, which obviously from 1 is 2. And we go back to the loop. We're going to check if it is more than 4, and it is not, so we're going to continue b equals a times i. So a is 8, i is 2, 8 times 2 is 16. So b is now 16, and I'm outputting that value, 16. Next i means to increase from 2 to 3 for i. Go back to the loop. We're still within our limit of 1 to 4, so we'll continue. a times i, 8 times 3 is 24, which is the new value of b. And now we need to output that to 24. Next i becomes 4. We now know that the for loop from 1 to 4, this is the last time we are going to go through the loop because we've now reached 4. b equals a times i, 8 times 4 is 32. Output b, 32. Now we're moving on to the final line because the for loop is no longer true. It's no longer between 1 to 4 if we were to increase the i to 5. And our final line says b divided by a. So b is 32, a is 8, 32 divided by 8 is 4. Okay, so if you have a question like that in an exam, this is obviously a very simple algorithm with just one loop. You might have a more complicated one with two loops or a while loop instead, but you just need to go through it line by line, recording the value of your variables as you go along. Um, but make sure that you recall that somewhere which is not going to be confused by the examiner for your actual outputs. So you might want to write it somewhere else on the page. Just be really clear what your outputs are. So the answer to this question is 8, 16, 24, 32 and 4.